Today we're going to go over five new features and changes in macOS Mojave that Apple did not talk about at WWDC. So I've been playing with the macOS Mojave beta for a couple of days now. You can check out my video on it here. And I have to say there's quite a few things that Apple did not talk about that I think are at the very least interesting. Now they're not groundbreaking changes, in fact some are just minor easter eggs, but I do think that they're worth noting, so let's go over them. So the first change that I've noticed is macOS now allows you to change the accent color in system preferences under general. As you can see there's now a whole new range of colors that allow you to change the appearance of the drop down menus in the menu bar, of the selecting icon bubbles, or even the check marks. Whereas before everything was blue by default, you can now change to a whole variety of new colors. You know, nothing major, but it allows you a little bit of extra customization. So the next thing that has changed, and I suspect we'll see more of this as macOS Mojave nears its final release, is a lot of the icons actually change to a darker version when you switch to the new dark mode. So for example, the folder icons now appear a little more darker and shadowy, and the trash can icon has a more space gray appearance. The next feature I touched on just a little bit in my previous video on macOS Mojave, and that is there's a new section of the dock that shows the last three applications that you had open that aren't already saved in the dock. So it's a pretty cool feature. It allows you to quickly gain access to recently used apps that you might not use enough to pin in the dock. So the next change is that system updates are no longer located in the App Store in the Updates tab. Whereas before you could find all of your software updates, whether it be for apps and programs that you had installed or macOS itself, those used to be in the App Store, but it is now stored in System Preferences under a new pane called Software Update. And that brings us on to the final change, and this one is certainly a feature, and I'm a little bit surprised that they didn't talk about this in WWDC, because I think it's actually really, really cool. So basically, this new feature is SMS two-factor authentication autofill. And this is a feature that is also new for iOS 12 as well. So basically, when you log into a website that requires phone verification, where they will text you a code, if you have messages synced and you will receive messages on your computer, Computer, Mac OS can intelligently pick up that code from the text message and fill it in automatically. Now when I first saw this, I was amazed. It's it's really cool. I don't know, it's, it's not necessarily the coolest feature in the world, but it's just something that I thought was really neat. And I was surprised that they didn't talk about it in WWDC. So I think this really increases the usefulness of autofill because in addition to putting in passwords and usernames, you can now also fill in verification codes very easily. So those were five new changes and features in macOS Mojave that Apple didn't talk about. Which one was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. As I said, not all of these features are groundbreaking, but I did think that these were some interesting tidbits that you guys might find interesting. So as usual, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at Luke Miani, and please consider joining my subreddit. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.